Hello, and welcome to Zim Tutorials for Adobe Animate. I am Dr. Abstract. This is our second tutorial. In our first tutorial, we took you through the Zim site at zimjs.com. And Zim is a JavaScript canvas framework for coding creativity. It's built on CreateJS, and Adobe Animate exports to CreateJS in the web uh, export. So that's how all this works. We showed you in the last tutorial how to install the Zim Shim so that you can bring all of the Zim conveniences, components, and controls right into Adobe Animate. We did that through the code page here. And then we went on down to the Zim Shim. We grabbed the zip file right there. So if you had unzipped the zip file, let's go into Adobe Animate now. We'll open up a preset. We're choosing the very high web preset. And I've adjusted that a little bit to be 60 frames per second in a light gray. So in the last tutorial, we took you through the more settings here and how to import your uh, a new HTML template called Zim Shim. So that will bring in the Zim code. Then we can use Zim within Animate. We also wanted to set up the center and make responsive and scale. We wanted to set these things. So in the end, we ended up storing what's called uh, a, a profile here. The profile should show up under profiles, but doesn't seem to. So we can import the one that we exported the last time. So we exported this profile, and now we're importing it. And as you can see, that brings in the Zim Shim and sets our basics up. So that'll center our stage as, as we like it when we work with Zim. So great, let's save the file, file save as. And uh, we won't overwrite that, but we'll use part of it. So this will be Zim02, and we're going to look at movie clips today. There we go, movie clips, because it'd be nice to add the, the functionality that we had in Zim to an existing movie clip from Adobe Animate. Let's open up a code panel and just review what we did last time. So we made a new circle. We gave it a radius of 100, and I think we made it red, but there's something, we'll make it purple this time. Can't remember, and we'll dot center it on the stage and set it to drag like that. So that's the code that we looked at last time. If I go Control Enter, hey, there's the purple circle that I can center and drag it. What we wanna do is be able to center and drag a movie clip that, that we've made inside of Adobe Animate. So that's what we're doing this time. <clears throat> Let's comment that out. And we will um, close our code panel for now and go make a movie clip. So there we are, rectangle. That I held down the shift key to make a square. That's a shape on the stage. What we wanna do is right click, convert to symbol or F8 and call this rectangle. We have it left, top left center, or top left registration point. And we hit OK. So that will add the rectangle to the library like that. We can drop another one on there. But with code, we access these things via the instance name. So I'm going to delete this one, I've selected this one, and give it an instance name of rectangle. OK, and that's how we access it with code. Let's go see some code now, F9. And we'll put a little title up here. This is Zim Tutorial 02 and Movie Clips. Excellent. So the way we access that on the stage is we say this dot rectangle. Okay, that uses the instance name. It's actually a rectangle that's stored in this, and this is a yet another movie clip that is that we will call it the timeline movie clip. Okay, so anyway, this rectangle, if, if we want to use center and drag, then we can't just add it to the rectangle because that doesn't have those methods. These are Zim methods, but we've set up a way. What we do is we Zimify, Zimify that. So if we Zimify that object, that movie clip, it becomes a Zim object. Now it has center and drag and various other things as well. Center, oops, dot drag. Like so. Oh, if I can get there. One more bracket. Pop. All right, you ready? Whoa, it was centered and we can drag it. Yay. <laughs> okay, so um, there are some nuances though. <clears throat> uh, 
um, and I can demonstrate it via this. Because the rectangle right here isn't actually on the stage, it's in a timeline movie clip that is on the stage. The circle is on the stage. The rectangle is in a timeline movie clip on the stage. Okay, so here's what happens when we run both of these at the same time. Oh, I centered the one. Let's position it somewhere else. Position it at 100, comma 100. Yeah. So there is positioned at 100, 100, so we can see it. We can drag this. We can drag this. It looks good so far, but and that looks good. But when I pick up the rectangle, I would have liked that rectangle to come up on top of the circle. So by default, when we have objects on the stage, usually the one that we click on comes up to the top. Or actually, if, if the objects are in a container, basically what happens is whatever clicked on comes up to the top of the container. So that's not happening here because this is coming up to the top of the stage. This rectangle is coming up to the top of the timeline movie clip. Okay, this is above it at the moment. And the timeline movie clip doesn't come up to the top because we're bringing this rectangle inside the timeline movie clip to the top. All right, so basically what we need to do is pull the rectangle out. The, the, this rectangle movie clip, we need to pull it out of the timeline movie clip and add it to the stage. So that's not hard to do. We can just say center on the stage, please. Don't center in, in its own container, which is the timeline movie clip, but rather center it on the stage. Problem is the timeline movie clip, if it's running, we'll put it back into the timeline movie clip. So even though we pulled it out and centered it on the stage, the timeline movie clip as it runs seems to say, no, 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 you're mine, and puts it back in to its place. <laughs> it's just how, how it's arranged. Uh, to avoid that, we can stop the timeline movie clip from running. So that's this dot stop. Okay, that will stop the timeline movie clip from uh, running and pulling it back into itself. However, it's not the full solution. There are three nuances that we have to deal with. The first one is, well, let's take it out of the timeline movie clip, put it on the stage. Second one is, let's stop the timeline movie clip so it stays there. And the third is, when we go to drag the rectangle itself, this is the rectangle movie clip right here. Zim, by default, if you are going, if you put the drag on a container or on a movie clip, movie clips like a container. So if you put the drag on a container, it will drag whatever object inside the container is clicked on or is, is mouse down on, I guess. Okay, so that's, that's a handy thing. For instance, if you have a container of 100 monsters inside of a container called monsters, you can just say monsters.drag. And then when you go and pick up a monster, that individual monster that you pick up will drag. Isn't that cool? Well, what's happening here is the movie clip is like a container, and when we put the drag on it, Zim is just dragging the shape inside, like that. Okay, so we, we don't want that, and there's a nice easy way to prevent that. In the drag, we say all, oops, capital letters, all colon true. So what that means what that means is that uh, instead of dragging the child that we, that we press on, it will drag all of the container. So if we put that on our container of monsters and we dragged it, all the monsters would be dragged at once. If we put it on our movie clip here, all of the movie clip, not the child inside it, will be dragged. So that's the third nuance. First nuance was we have to pull it out of that timeline movie clip. We have to stop the timeline movie clip we have to um, make sure that when we drag the thing, we're not dragging what's inside the rectangle movie clip, but the whole movie clip. And we get this, bum, 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 circle on top, ah, rectangle on top, okay? Rectangle is now on the stage and stays on the stage, and we're dragging the whole movie clip, not just the thing inside. If we were dragging the thing inside, that's what would come up to the top of its container of the movie clip, but that wouldn't help us. The circle would still be on top of the movie clip if the thing inside the movie clip was only coming up to the top of it, its container. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's like some big tongue twister or something. So obviously that's rather nuanced, we'll call it, and I apologize for that, but I, I don't think that there's anything. And it may be 
that maybe that's not what you want. For instance, if you had a movie clip with a bunch of objects inside it, maybe you do want to add a drag to the movie clip and drag the individual objects inside that movie clip. Great, you can do that. Just don't say all true then, okay? But in this case, when we want to actually see the movie clip sort of interact with other um, objects here, such as the Zim Circle, in a sort of normal way, then that's what we did. A final thing to note is we can show the bounds and what's called the registration point of this by going dot outline. Run it. Here is the zero, zero inside of the rectangle, and this round circle is the registration point. And it's like, oh, well, wait a minute. I thought we I thought we put the registration, but when we made this movie clip, we put the registration point here. So somewhere in the translation between um, Adobe Animate and CreateJS, the registration point has been put in the center, as far as we can tell. So uh, that's a little bit odd, and we can easily fix that, though dot reg, zero comma zero. So if we put the registration point back to where we expected it, then we get this. Now the registration point is at zero, zero. We're still centering this thing here, and there's the registration point, zero, zero. Okay, so that's sort of what we would have been expecting to happen. All of this, by the way, is in Zim Shim. You've got some notes as we're Zimifying the movie clip. You've got some notes in there that, that take you through those three nuanced things and uh, the registration point as well. I am looking forward to making more tutorials, Zim tutorials for Adobe Animate. This is so much fun. It's been a delight to be here with you. If you'd like to come and join us at zimjs.com slash slack or zimjs.com slash discord. We'd love to have you there. You're welcome to ask any questions, show us what you're making, etc. Come on in and join us. We've had over 60,000 uh, comments in our forums, and uh, it'd be great if, if you uh, give us some comments too. Yeah, we'd like to see you there. Okay, Dr. Abstract, have a great day or night. Cheers.